Hello, I'm very excited to release the QGS Notebook plugin uh, that allows you to run Jupyter Notebook within QGS uh, interface. If you have used QGS, uh, you know there's a Python console that allows you to run uh, Python script in here. It also has the uh, Python uh, script editor that allows you to uh, run Python script. But the downside is that you have to run everything all at once. Compared to Jupyter Notebook, uh, this is not very useful, especially if you want to demonstrate your program step by step. So Jupyter Notebook is very popular in the data science community and also for teaching uh, because you can showcase your program step by step. And um, that's the reason why I created this Notebook plugin because I, in, I have been using Jupyter Notebook for years and I really like it for doing all kinds of demonstration and also allows you to have tags and um, uh, code all at once. So uh, I'm going to show you how to do that step by step. So if you go to the link in the video description, it will take you to the uh, GitHub repository of the notebook uh, plugin. Here you can read some of the uh, descriptions and also you can see the uh, some of the screenshots here. It's very simple, very easy to use. So first we need to install the plugin and uh, I'm, I have submitted this one to uh, the official QGIS plugin repository but it might take a couple of days uh, before it can be approved. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use a custom um, plugin repository so that you can install it right away. I created this uh, uh, QGS plugin repository here. You can see some of the plugins that I have created and the notebook is here. So you can go to the homepage, you can go to a repository. Basically it's here. And what you need to do is to add it as a custom uh, repository. So I'm going to maybe turn off this one go to the uh, plugins menu click manage and install plugins and from here go to settings then you can click this button here uh, uh, add repository and so here you can give a name for example open gos then you can copy the url from this one here so this is where i hosted all the custom uh, plugin repository and then once you copy you can go back to the uh, interface here paste this one and then click ok you will be able to add that uh, plugin repository so that you can use the official qgs plugin and also my custom plugin uh, let me remove this one since i have already added that i'm going to cancel but you'll be able to see this one here it says connected and that's good once you have add this custom plugin repository then you go to all and then from here you can search notebook you will be able to find uh, the notebook from this here. There's another one called Q Notebook. I'm not quite sure about uh, the functionality of this one, but it's like in the Python console. My uh, plugin is different. It's just like you can render the notebook as a dockable panel within QGIS. So it's um, very, very powerful. So just click this one and then lower right corner here, click the install plugin and it should be installed just within seconds. After that, you can click the close button. So from here, there are two ways you can access the notebook panel. There's a menu here, notebook and notebook panel settings, track for updates about QGIS. Also on the left side here, you should be able to find the notebook panel button and also the settings. If you click this one on the right side, it should pop up this uh, notebook panel allows you to open uh, any notebooks. So here uh, you can open an existing notebook or you can uh, create a new one. So for example, here I can click this new notebook you will be able to create this just a template here and you will see a markdown sale. If you double click, uh, you'll be able to uh, see the basically the content. So very much similar to Jupyter Notebook. And then from here, I can start writing markdown, for example, introduction. Okay, and then control enter. It will execute and render the um, notebook or the markdown. And also let's uh, call blocks. So you can just click the run button to run the call block. It will show the output beneath here. Or you can write a little bit more. For example, say uh, print and then double quotes, another line, something like that. And you can always run control enter to execute um, and to say your basically your cursor will be within this code block. Or you can run alt enter, it will execute and then move to the next one. So the shortcuts are the same as uh, Jupyter Notebook. Or you can do a uh, shift enter, you will run this one and then move your cursor to the next one. And then from here, you can start writing all kind of Python code. Uh, very, very useful. Or you can right click a code block. And from here, you can select whether to add a code block 
uh, above or below so for example i want to add a code block above then you add another one above or i can right click here and then add a, a code blocks a code cell beneath uh, below uh, you will do that as well so this is how you can just uh, use that to run notebook and it's very very fast uh, you can just use to do all kind of prototyping uh, prototyping but if you already have some notebook examples you can just load the notebook so next i'm going to show you how to actually open the existing notebook if you go to this uh, github repository there's an example uh, here dot ipymb you can either download this one or you can clone this one to your computer so i'm going to clone this one to my downloads directory here okay just click clone and then paste uh, you will find the noble example inside so next let's open this one directly if you go to the click the open button and it's going to ask you okay because the, the current notebook has unsafe changes you want to save it or not if you don't need it you can just discard and then from here you can go to your uh, downloads directory and then get into the folder i'm going to open this existing noble example so click open then on the right it will automatically populate so you can see all the contents here it has uh, code blocks it also has markdown sale and then if you need to uh, change the markdown you just double click and you will be able to um, see the uh, original markdown and then control enter it will execute so for this notebook just show you some of the basic uh, functionality of uh, pyqgs so basically you can use python to uh, interact with qgs um, interactively and so the first step here the first code block we're going to basically add uh, OSM uh, open stream map and so just pointing to the URL and then use the iFace iFace basically is just the uh, reference to the QGS instance our current QGS instance then call this add raster layer passing the URL and give a layer name and also um, indicate what kind of a layer type so just control enter oops uh, do you have any typo here OSM Uh, let me clear the output to see uh osm oh i oh there's a typo here uh because uh, interesting so when i was using uh the zoom into the screen so i have that typo if you remove that one then i run this one so take a look uh very very quick now i can load the open stream map directly into qgs uh, very very quickly you can also add all kind of vector data so similarly here i'm pointing to uh a vector data set uh, oops uh, hosted on um github and then i can just use this iface to add uh, vector layer pointing to the uil give a layer name and then use the ogr so basically part of the digital to add the layer and then just click one you should be able to see the data layer being loaded to qgs directly and this is how you can use the python to actually uh, low data ad the data so all kind of things are very very powerful so i don't have to click the button you can load raster data as well i have a raster data set hosting on github and then use the add raster layer um, and just click one it should be able to load the layer you can see on the left side here the layer has been loaded but it's a little bit small so we can use the uh, to zoom into the layer so use the eye face map canvas to set the extent so if you click this one it will just zoom to this um, uh, imagery and right now because by default the stretch is not very good so it's kind of very dark but we can also set some custom uh, stretch to the imagery and also change the bank combination so right now we're using the uh, first color composite i don't have time to get into the details about all of this pi qgs functionality uh, in the future i might create a tutorial series showing you how to utilize that uh, you can even run deep learning but for now i'm just showing you some of the capability that allows you to interact using the notebook uh, you can also create some features for example i can create uh, open the attribute table so you can see how many uh, columns within that uh, attribute table and you can print out some of the, the content um, besides using uh, add raster and egg vector this also allows you to add like a memory so basically you can create some temporary data layer so i can click one uh, you will create the memory layer and then you can do some geo processing for example using the buffer or some of the analysis i'm just going to quickly show you run, run through all this and then i can for example create a buffer layer on the left side here you see the buffer right so you can see the polygon let me turn off the points in here so to make it a little bit more clear and turn up the cities 
So you can take a look at these are some of the points that I uh, created in the memory and then I create a buffer uh, around the point and to just show you the content like this. Lastly, I can clean up the canvas so I can remove all the data layer all at once and then it's gone. So as you can see, it's very, very useful, especially if you want to demonstrate your program step by step rather than to run everything all at once because if you run all at once, for example here, I can click this button to run all at once. It's going to basically add the data layer and then you don't even see it, it has been removed. So it doesn't really uh, show you the step by step. Also, you can clear all the outputs. Uh, there are a couple of buttons here. You can click the save button here to save this notebook uh, because earlier we opened this notebook so I can click save. It will save the notebook or you can just create a new notebook. Um, very, very easy to use. And then all you need to do is just to remember a couple of those uh, keyboard shortcut. Okay, control enter is to execute and then uh, your cursor stay within this code block. Shift enter is to execute and move to the next one. Or Alt enter is going to execute and then create a new code block beneath. And the nice thing about this is that it also has uh, auto completion. So for example, if you have installed some other packages in there, you will be able to actually use auto completion. So for example, I can import OS, okay, run it, and then OS stop. So on the, uh, at the bottom here, you will see there's a drop down list. So this showing you the functions associated with this uh, library or this class. And it's not just for built-in uh, functions, it can be your custom library. For example, I can import libmap because I have libmap installed within this uh, Python environment. So you just execute it. Then I can tell m equal to libmap dot map. And you see here, it automatically pop uh, populated list and then I can run it. And then, of course, right now it doesn't render the map because this is not uh, interactive Python kernel, so it doesn't work. But for functions that we down, like showing the IPy widget, it will work uh, from here. I can also just type leaf map dot. Uh, you can access all the functions in here, check the base map and other uh, other stuff. So it's very very really useful. Um, although it's not like fully com uh, uh, full fledged Jupyter notebook, but at least you can basically run it and then generate the data layer, then you can load the data layer to the map um, if you want to. So this is how you can open existing notebook or uh, create a new notebook. And I'm gonna show you here, if you go to the, uh, for example, QGS, uh, uh, Google it, PyQGS cookbook. So the Q, uh, QGS documentation has this PyQGS developer notebooks, and these are all using uh, basically restructure text if you go to the AD on GitHub, it will take you to the uh, GitHub repository so you can see all this uh, content. So basically, if you want to learn how to use Python to interact with QGS, you might want to learn some of this. And this is just using uh, restructure text. If you click inside each IST file, you will see, for example, the source code, the text, and other stuff. But uh, you need to copy and paste. For example, here, this one just show you the code block of each example. So I actually created a report that really allows you to just load the notebook. So I've converted all the restructured text files to Jupyter Notebook so you can just download them. And the link is also in the video description. So if you go to the OpenGOS and then repositories, there's one here, PyQGS cookbook, and I've converted all of them into Jupyter Notebook. So if you want to try, I can clone this repository and then go to my downloads directory here, right click, git clone, paste, all right? So now I have the entire repository and in the notebook here, we have all kinds of examples. So if you want to learn PyQGS, uh, this is much better than just downloading the Python script. So I can go to QGS here and then go to the opens button, uh, click discard, I don't need to save changes. Then I can go inside the directory downloads and PyQGS cookbook notebook. So you can see here, I have a lot of uh, notebook example right now within here and I can select any one you want to try. For example, I want to try maybe the vector data set and then click open. See on the right. So all the examples have been open and this is step by step rather than you have to run everything uh, or you have to copy and paste. And this is very, very useful. I can just click run. You'll be able to run the script and um, and at the bottom here, you will see, okay, sale to execute it successfully, right? And then you can continue to try uh, other examples. Of course, you need to have some uh, update the sample data directory because 
the documentation doesn't provide you some real data so it might not work you just replace this one with your own data then you should be able to run this uh, code blocks uh, step by step and it's very good for learning programming step by step you have text you have code block you can generate output and then you can interact uh, with QGIS you can load the data directly into here so I um, hope uh, this can help you um, learning QGIS uh, with Python and also you can change the settings so if you go to the settings let me close this one allows you to uh, customize some of the settings whether you want to for example uh, auto save the notebook or not if you check the box it will save the notebook automatically so that in that way you don't lose the uh, the content uh, also allow you to specify a default notebook directory if you want to and execution so you can see some of these in your clear output before one stop error import so by default you import all the qgs modules for example i i face something like that so you don't have to import them also you can change the uh, color sim if you want to dark sim or the light sim uh, normally you don't have to change this one uh, you can just op open the notebook and then you can start running also if you want to update to the latest version you can click this check for updates and this one is going to basically check to the um, github repository so if you click this one it's going to show you okay you are running the latest version so you don't really need to update but if i release a new version then you can click the button here download and install uh, you don't have to um, go to um, the qgs official plugin reports to, to check so it will be uh, automatic and the last one is the about qgs so this one just shows you some basic documentation if you run into any issues you can click the link it will take you to the qgs uh, basically the github repository and you can report issue here uh, if you run into uh, any issues Again, this is just a very straightforward uh, plugin that allows you to run Jupyter Notebook interactively within QGIS. So, and it's stockable, so you can move the panels to somewhere else uh, if you want to move it. So you can change it, you can move it, you can uh, make it float. Uh, very, very cool. So this is something that you might want to try if you use Jupyter Notebook a lot. And you used to be just running QGIS and then running a separate Jupyter Notebook instance. But now you have everything within the single interface. Okay, so that's all I want to show you. I hope you find it useful. I will see you in the next one. Take care.